Greetings, Texas Realtors, and welcome to today's edition of Pass the Mic. I'm Cindy Bulla, your 2020 Chairman of the Board, and I'm joined today by Travis Kessler, your President and CEO, and our special guest, Donnell Williams. Donnell is the president of NAREB, the National Association of Real Estate Brokers, also sometimes referred to as the Realtists. Donnell, welcome. We're so Thank glad you. to have you here today. Thank you so much for the invitation. So Donnell, I just want to start out with a question to you about what is NAREB? What is its mission and its goal? And what does it do? Just share with our members. Well, the NAREB is a, a, a wonderful, beautiful organization um, that serves democracy and housing and basically serves the underserved community. It gives a voice to the voiceless. Um, we, are, we were the first fair housing organization. We are, we are champions for democracy and housing. Um, we've done everything from uh, testify to Congress to come up um, to have input on governmental uh, sponsored entities to be created. And um, we're very proud of our rich history being started in back in 1947, 73 years old this year. Um, and we're, we're very uh, proud of the, the battles we won. So democracy and housing, talk, talk more about that phrase and how it, how it originated and what it means. And, and can you expand on democracy and housing for us? Well, sure. Um, if I were to say it in 2020 language, I'd say uh, a, a fair shot. Everybody have a fair shot. In 1947, we weren't allowed to, Black people were not allowed to be realtors. Black people were not allowed to get FHA mortgages. Um, we, we just weren't allowed certain liberties. I mean, the appraisals couldn't come in. You, you, know, you had redlining, you know, so hey, um, we were treated unfairly. And um, back then, 11 guys and one woman got together and formed this organization and spread out across the country. Um, we are, um, we're concerned about serving the underserved market. Um, we were um, at the table when Fannie came up with um, uh, home ready, ready came with home possible and things like that. So we, we have input still today with different programs that should come out. And that's what we mean by democracy. Thank you for that, Donnell. And I'm glad you brought up the fact that, that NAR has, has really been working hard to strengthen the, our relationship and, and right the wrongs of the past. And we do know that we have a past history that, that we can't be very proud of, but we're, but we're certainly um, working hard and moving in a direction, hopefully, that can, can help right those early wrongs um, with regard to fair housing. So um, you had a report, it was the 2019 report out, and, and the, the name of that report was The State of Housing in Black America. And I know you're currently working on the State of Housing in Black America for the 2020 edition. Can you give us a preview of what you think that, will, uh, that report will contain? I can. We're extremely elated and proud and excited about the State of Housing in Black America report, which we use the acronym SHIBA. SHIB. So we're, we're concerned because this year we used a new author. Um, it's the different dynamics. We're going to we release the executive summary, but the actual report is going to come out October the 27th at our second annual National Conversation on Black Home Ownership. You're going to need to tell us about this second annual conference. Yeah, it's um, we've got uh, some politicians. We've got, um, I believe, Bakari Sellers is going to be, he is, Bakari Sellers is going to be our moderator. We've got a bunch of different people in different fields, from our faith-based community to our, our uh, political uh, arena to um, actual uh, lenders and, and what have you. So it's, it's an action pack. We've got some, um, uh, you know, ex-football players, people with some influencers. It, this is going to be action packed. It's going to be action packed. So please tune in. National conversation on Black home ownership, and then after that, we're going to be release our Chiba report at one o'clock on the twenty seventh of October. You know, we're we're concerned about um, all facets of our community. Number one, our younger generation is not um, as aggressive in home ownership as they should be. Um, there's a report 
out there, uh, Freddie Mac, Ur Ur Urban Institute says, hey, there's 1.7 million black millennials that make over $100,000 a year that do not own a home. That has to change. Black people, the fastest way to build wealth is through home ownership. That's, it. that's that's just how the game is set up. We need to have home ownership. So if they're not enlightened about it, if they don't have that energy or that fire to purchase, because of whatever the reason, you know, whatever the reason is, now we have to change that mindset. So we went into starting an initiative called HouseThenTheCar.com. Um, that also, all of that is in the report. Um, the age group that uh, black folks usually buy a home was of concern. Um, two years ago, it was uh, 45 to 48 average age, uh, average age, age range. Uh, last year, it's uh, 39 to 44. We're getting better, we're starting, starting earlier, but it's still, we still need to focus. And then we need to have some conversations about planning, estate planning, wills, trusts, probate, reverse mortgages, life insurance, those type of things. So we formed the committee called the Real Estate Opportunity for Seasoned Individuals, ROSE. So we came up with a bunch of different initiatives to actually engage the community. We, we went into our, um, uh, what I call our civic engagement committee, which actually put together different um, uh, uh, fraternity churches and Masonic lodges and Elks and, and uh, nonprofits and civic and NANS and NAACP and Urban League and all these groups, all these groups we compile. So, um, you know, just to make, to create the awareness and the urgency of homeowners. Wow. So all of that good stuff is in the report. I'm sorry. That, no, that's great information for our members. Thank you for that, Danielle. Let's bring Travis in and talk about those, those coalitions and partnerships. Travis? President Williams, thank you for your leadership in leading NAREB. Uh, you've done a stellar job in your leadership skills and, and what you do for this organization. So, so we applaud your, your initiatives and, and the direction uh, with you as the, as the leader of NAREB. So, so talk to us a little bit about the relationship uh, that we have uh, with our local chapters. And I understand we value and appreciate the relationship that we have with, with TAREB and uh, the six chapters uh, within that as a state chapter. Uh, do we have a lot of members in common between the, uh, the NAREB, TAREB, and the realtor organization? We have a decent amount of members in common, but NAREB is also comprised of everyone. When you look at the name, National Association of Real Estate Brokers, you seem to think like, like I did when I first thought, oh, it's only for brokers. It is not. It's compiled of uh, salespersons, brokers, mortgage, loan officers, title people, insurance people, contractors, painters, everybody that touches real estate, homeowners, investors, everybody that touches real estate, it can be a member of NAREB. Um, just because it has brokers in the name, don't be fooled. And I think that that discourages people sometimes. So I'm going to have to address that as well. Absolutely. Well, we applaud your, your efforts and in, in all of your initiatives. So what can we do as a realtor organization to partner and to have that and strengthen that relationship between our organizations? Well, I'll tell you, we, we're doing, um, like I said, about housethenthecar.com. We're moving that across the country. Before COVID-19 hit, we had a 22-city tour because we feel we have to get in and we felt we had to touch. Now, since the world went a little viral here, I mean, you know, virtual, we have to, you know, we're still going to do it, but we just have to do it virtually. So we would love to partner with your associations with these folks who have become housed in the car ambassadors, is what we call them. And we have them all over the country. And if, you know, if you all would like to partner up with them and, and whatnot and, and actually impact the community, actually, you know, hey, let's talk about home ownership and let's put a plan together, you know, because this is the website is unbelievable. You can find out your FICO score there. You can do your pre-purchase counseling. You can download your certificate. You can find out where your down payment assistance is and your zip code. You can uh, pull your FICO score. You can do an online budget. So we have, the resources are there. It's just about how to, you know, communicate, communication. We're looking forward to partnership with um, TAR on those, on, you know, doing these initiatives, especially House in the Car. Absolutely. And we certainly look forward to strengthening that relationship and working together in the collaboration of the efforts that we can do as partners together in this industry. So we really wish you well uh, with your conference. And we certainly look forward to the 
to the housing report that will be published at the end of October. Uh, we certainly will publish the, the website, the information, and look forward to distributing the information and your 2020 housing report that we that we will have from you. So thank you for Great. joining us today. It's a pleasure thank you. to work with you as the national president of NAREB. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure meeting you all.